In this tutorial, we'll take a look at some of the features of the level editor. Let's start by looking at how you control the camera. The camera uses a first person view similar to many video games. You can move forwards, backwards, and side to side using the W, S, A, and D keys, and look around by holding down the right mouse button and moving the mouse. If we hold down control, then the camera will strafe in the direction we move the mouse, and the mouse wheel lets us zoom in and out. Next we'll look at some of the tools for selecting and modifying objects. We'll start with the selection tool. Click on the arrow and we're ready to select an object. I'll choose the NPC in the distance. Next we'll use the move tool to push it over to one side. The move gizmo appears and we can use the direction arms to pull or push the object around. Two directions may be selected at once to move the object around on a plane. We'll use the rotation tool next to turn the object around. The gizmo changes to three circles representing your pitch and roll. Click on the appropriate direction and move the mouse around the circle. The object will follow the mouse's direction. We can adjust the size of the object using the scale tool. The gizmo changes to allow the scale to be adjusted in the X, Y and Z directions. Two directions may be selected at once in a similar way to the move gizmo. We can undo changes we have just made by repeatedly clicking the undo button, or redo them using the redo button. The copy and paste buttons allow you to copy objects and paste new versions of them into the scene. We will copy this NPC and paste two new copies of it. Each time we click paste, we can place a new NPC in the scene. The grid is a useful tool for aligning objects and visualising a plane. However, it can be easily turned off and on as required and its size can be adjusted to help place objects correctly. The last tool we'll look at is the Select Item tool. This lists all the objects in the scene and you can click on any object to select it. While this isn't a problem in a simple scene like this one, it can be a useful tool for larger projects. So we've looked at a few of the features of the level editor to help you get started. Many of these tools are used by the other editors too, and so you should quickly find yourself becoming familiar with the Shoot'em Up kit. Thanks for watching.